All right, excellent. So this is chapter 11, maintenance publications. You have a total of 41 total questions, and this section will be divided into four parts. All right, definitely, as you know, there's gonna be a quiz after every part. So, let's get started. Number one, correct an unsafe condition. Correct an unsafe condition. Correct an unsafe condition. So, airworthiness directives are issued primarily to correct an unsafe condition correct an unsafe condition. Number two, only the first one is true. So let's take a look. A supplemental type certificate may be issued to more than one applicant for the same design change. Providing each applicant shows compliance with the applicable airworthiness requirement. So out of both of these, the first one is true. The first one is true. A supplemental type certificate may be issued to more than one applicant for the same design change, providing each applicant show compliance with the applicable airworthiness requirement. Excellent. Number three, technical standard order or TSO, a technical standard order. So what does the acronym TSO mean regarding a type certificate aircraft part material component and or process it's a type it's a technical standard order technical standard order number four aircraft owner or operator aircraft owner or operator aircraft owner or operator primarily responsibility for compliance with airworthiness directives lies with the aircraft owner or operator. Aircraft owner or operator. Number five, location of the datum. Location of the datum. Location of the datum. A type certificate data sheet contains the location of the datum. Remember we saw this in weight and balance. The, the type certificate data sheet contains the location of the datum, okay? Number six, aircraft specification or type certificate data sheet. Aircraft specifications or type aircraft type certificate data sheet. Aircraft specifications or aircraft type certificate data sheets. So suitability for the use of specific propeller with a particular engine airplane combination can be determined by reference to what informative source? It's the aircraft specification or aircraft type certificate data sheets. Okay. Number seven is transferred with the aircraft is transferred with the aircraft is transferred with the aircraft. When an airworthy, at the time of the sale, aircraft is sold, the airworthiness certificate is transferred with the aircraft. Transferred with the aircraft. When you sell an airplane that is airworthy, it will be sold with the airworthiness certificate. Okay? Number eight, 14 CFR part 21. 14 CFR part 21. 14 CFR Part 21. The issuance of an airworthiness certificate is governed by 14 CFR Part 921. 14 CFR Part 21. Okay? Number nine, aircraft listing. Aircraft listing. Aircraft listing. So, specifications pertaining to an aircraft model manufactured under a type certificate of which is less than 50 are shown on the FAA aircraft registry can be found in the aircraft listing. An aircraft listing. Specifications pertaining to an aircraft model manufactured under a type certificate or which less than 50 are shown in the FAA aircraft registry can be found in the aircraft listing. Number 10, 
Propeller Type Certificate Data Sheets. Propeller Type Certificate Data Sheets. Propeller Type Certificate Data Sheets. Where are technical descriptions of certain propellers found? In the Propeller Type Certificate Data Sheets. Propeller Type Certificate Data Sheets. Take your first quiz and I'll see you soon.